More landslides, downed trees and down power lines. Yeah, that could all result from the continuing rain and heavy winds that are coming our way on Sunday. Good evening to you. I'm Paul Martino. A high wind warning going into effect for our region early tomorrow morning. Meteorologist Kristen Emery here and Kristen, we got some really strange weather coming our way. Uh, yeah, a little bit of everything, including some what could be dangerously high winds for some situations, including the power lines, possible tree branches or trees being blown down. And take a look right now. We have rain showing up now. The next round reaching our area on the latest radar scan. We're looking at a little bit of rain now in southwestern Washington County, down in through Greene County, just along and south of I-70, and that will continue to spread east and to the northeast through our area while you sleep overnight tonight and then pretty much wind up by early to mid morning tomorrow or wind down, I should say. Uh, so an overnight rain event, we could pick up upwards of a half an inch of rain overnight and then a uh, cold front quickly moves in behind this warm sector and that will ramp up the winds that prompted a high wind warning that starts tomorrow morning and lasts 24 hours all the way through Monday morning at 7 a.m. That's for our entire area. And this is why we're looking at 41 degrees now. You see those southeasterly winds. That's the warm front. Then behind this, the temperatures will start to fall and the winds really pick up as we head with the cold front swinging through tomorrow through the day. So more rain tonight. Very strong wind Sunday. And we're talking by early to mid morning. Sustained winds 20 to 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Temperatures will rise overnight to the 50s and then quickly fall through the day Sunday. So we'll time it all out with Futurecast coming up in my seven day outlook, Paul. All right, Kristen, now First Energy preparing for the high winds. Company and contractor crews put on notice to be ready tonight. They say the already saturated ground and strong winds could combine to uproot trees. The strong wind winds also making it dangerous for their workers on the bucket trucks or ladders, so it may take longer than normal to restore power tomorrow. Time is needed to clear all that debris away, to have a, a safe work site for our employees to go, set our poles, hang our cross arms, restring our wire uh, so that we can get the customers back on safely. Duquesne Light also says it's tracking this severe weather. Tonight they're checking their equipment and supplies, also scheduling crews to be ready to go. Pittsburgh Public Works forestry crews, they're getting ready to clean up downed trees and branches. If you come across a downed tree blocking a road, call 911. 